Hey everyone, I am indeed Nicole Davis. I am co-creator at Seed Club. Seed Club is an internet native organization that helps other builders and operators launch successfully into Web3. Um, we have this superpower that we ourselves are a DAO, a network of networks that are helping other builders and operators launch their own DAOs. We believe that humans should control and benefit from the value that they're creating on the internet and beyond. And we're working to create the systems and the knowledge base and the tools and the network where that's possible. Um, running an accelerator within a DAO is not the easiest way to run an accelerator. Um, we've been doing this now. We are in our fifth cohort. Um, we've worked with 65 plus projects, a number of household Web3 names from Kraus House, Water and Music, Mochi, uh, who just presented, woohoo! Um, let's see, Cabin, Meta Label, uh, and many others. Um, in doing this, we've learned a few things about what a successful team and project looks like. And um, you know, as we build our DAO and Accelerator, we've also been learning ourselves. And so we're able to deploy this superpower that we have as um, a growing decentralized organization and bring that knowledge base to our projects. Now, part of this is in the decision making of who to bring in. We have a core team of alumni, collaborators, and our contributors who spend a lot of time with each other thinking about what it means to be successful in Web3, what it means to be a successful team, to be at the right point to come to the accelerator. Um, January 1st of this year, so less than a year ago, we launched our club token. And what that enabled us to do was to open the door to collective decision making. And so for this past year, one of the things that we've been doing is exploring what does it mean to be a sense-making network? How do we make good long-term decisions and uh, enter into uh, sustainable, successful, long-term relationships um, as a collective team? And how do we distribute and build context and um, combat information asymmetry when it is this distributed, decentralized team? Our core team has seen pretty much every application um, that has come through. So it's hundreds and hundreds of applications, and our core team has worked hand in hand with these 65 projects over the last two years. And so we have some understandings and some theses of um, how we support and how uh, you know, we see what a good team for our accelerator is. So this means strong leadership, a compelling call to adventure, the uh, comfort with ambiguity, and the willingness to run experiments that will eventually deliver um, you to an effective uh, potential business model, or you know, like a, basically help you arrive at business models as they emerge. Um, what we have been experimenting with over the last year is how we distribute that and how we run experiments in our own community that allow more community members to take part in that decision making. So I'm going to talk about a few experiments that we ran over the last two cohorts um, where we invited our community to take part in the decision making and also invited our community to level up. And that's such an important part of what we're doing because if this sense-making network is, gonna, is going to truly work, so if we're going to welcome folks like Mochi into our community, they need to be able to leverage and access and connect to the past builders that have come before them that have you know, decades worth of experience collectively in building, but they also need to be able to plug into and support and collaborate and build and advise with the next generations of projects. So how do we get ourselves right now, this, this core team, how do we get ourselves out of the way and how do we enable those many-to-many -many connections that themselves are gonna be intelligent and sense-making without us in the middle? So one of the experiments that we ran at the top of the year was uh, Tomato. Um, and there's a lot of things that I love about Tomato. One of them is the name. Um, in the US, and, and I don't know if, like how, how far abroad this goes, but there's something, there's a site called Rotten Tomatoes, and it ranks movies. Um, and so the more tomatoes, the better the movie. I guess conceivably it's you know, like that you would 
throw Rotten Tomatoes at a movie that's uh, good or bad. Anyways, Rotten Tomatoes is a ranking website for movies. And as we were looking at all of the projects that were coming in for our fourth cohort, we were looking at, okay, these are the criteria for success. This is how we're gonna come together, this team that knows Seed Club well, past projects, advisors, collaborators, and then uh, core contributors. We're gonna come together and using these criteria for success, we're gonna rank the projects so that we can bring in the ones that are best suited and, and, and best fit for Seed Club. Um, and so somebody coined the term, basically we are the Rotten Tomatoes of Web3, we'll rank anything um, and uh, we'll, we'll make these decisions. What was great was uh, there was you know these, these two things. One was the, the meme of Tomato and the acceleration and energy that that meme, that joke sort of propelled where people really glommed onto and, and connected with that idea of, okay, I'm a member now of Tomato. We did not have a token, there was no tomato token, um, but that identity of, you know, I've been chosen to be part of this core selection group um, had a, a tremendous amount of power. And then the other piece was bringing together these people that have been with Seed Club now for some time um, and uh, empowering them to make these really key decisions with us has been really effective. So we did that um, this uh, spring one of the things that we saw was opening the doors to input and scoring and uh, community insight into the criteria that we were looking at was really strong. And so we worked to expand that in our, more, in our most recent cohort. So any club token holder um, this past summer would have participated in our portal. That was a tool that we built ourselves um, that attempted to scale some of the best practices that we saw in Tomato. And so one of those was open commenting. So any club token holder um, was able to comment, ask questions of projects, and participate in um, the collective conversation of getting to know a project better. And then the last piece of that was uh, token-based boosting, where if you had tokens, you were able to signal which projects you felt were stronger, um, and do that, again, based on this criteria that we were surfacing to all of our club token holders. Um, I won't pretend that we have solved the puzzle of collective curation and collective decision making. I won't pretend that we have solved the puzzle of how to collectively sense make and get out of the way of these many to many um, intelligent connections, um, but it's something that we continue to run experiments on um, and I think that if you look at the, uh, the past cohorts that we run, the one that we're currently running, um, we have definitely brought together and, and brought on and surfaced some interesting um, insights and some interesting learnings. And so we'll be going into SEO 06, uh, we'll be opening interest forums soon, and we hope that many of you will participate in that process. Um, to learn more, follow us on Twitter, Seed Club HQ. Thank you very much.